guys, it's me, Vanessa. Hey, I wanted to update you guys because I entered week five of my surgery post-op and I have very great numbers to share, but I first want to introduce myself to those who have not started watching my videos yet. Uh, my name is Vanessa and on March 13th of 2017, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy and my starting weight for that was 235.2 pounds and my highest weight was 280. Now, I'm very excited today because I am only 1.8 pounds away from losing 60 pounds total. So yeah, this morning I weighed in at 221.8 pounds. So I'm very, very happy. That is a loss of 2.4 for the week. And since surgery, it's been 13.4 pounds. So very, very happy about that. Now, as far as how the week went, week went pretty well. I actually, you know, stuck with the um, as high a protein as I could go. Uh, calories I stayed between about 1,000 to 1,200. Um, there was a few days I went a little higher, um, and that was days that I usually went out. So if I went out for the day, like to the movies or shopping or, or that type thing, I would usually go higher in calories. Now, as far as my appointment last week, I had an appointment with my surgeon, my one month post-op appointment, on this past Friday and everything went really well. I was doing well with my incisions, no infections, no problems. Now I can finally start using like bio oil to help with the scars. Uh, everything is healing really nicely. Very, very happy. I do have a little bit of a keloid on one that I started forming. Hopefully it'll start to flatten out as it heals. I hope so. If not, oh well. You know, my, my body just heals really different as far as um, my, my skin. It's just, it's, it's always, always done that. Um, okay, so as far as my eating and stuff, uh, he said I'm doing really well. He really stressed though me to um, introduce solids this week and, and really stick to solids. So that is my goal. And those who knew um, my journey before too, I started doing something called the portion fix. And I'm incorporating that into my diet now, so that way I get a good mix of fruits and vegetables, and also my proteins, and then my carbohydrates. Uh, I'm only doing half a cup of carbohydrates for the day, so that's not too bad. It's gonna be a quarter of a cup each time, and I'm gonna see how it goes. If I, you know, I'm gonna obviously eat the protein first, then the veggies, uh, then I'll move on to the carbs, but not, and I'll kind of get like a, an idea of how much I can eat as far as carbohydrates, that type of thing. So I did make some quinoa, which is, is easier to get down and it does have protein in it too. So that, that's what I'm choosing first. And then I'll try to branch off to more things like potatoes and, um, you know, vegetable type carbs. So I'm going to, I'm going to try that, see how that goes and hopefully everything will go well. Um, what else? Oh, so my big concern was my slow weight loss. On Friday, I was down a total of like 13 pounds, I believe. And I was worried because it had already been four weeks and I wasn't losing like a lot of other people were losing. Uh, but he, ex he explained, you know, your body is just the way it is and you will lose when you need to lose. But he also did mention the fact that I was still eating soft foods and with soft foods and liquids, you can actually eat more uh, than with solids. So he said, once you transition to the solids, you're actually going to be eat, eating a lot less, and then that will cause you to um, lose weight. And also the fact, you know, you always gotta look at your calories in versus calories out. If you're eating more calories than you're burning, obviously you're not gonna lose weight. And so that's kind of like what we talked about. And he said, just keep an eye on it and I should be fine. And I see the nutritionist and the surgeon again in three months. Well, two more months from now, but in my three month post-op, that's when I'll see them again. And I have to get a DEXA scan and more labs. So I'll see how my lab work is. Um, I think that's about it. So everything went well, like I said. There were things that I ate that I really shouldn't have eaten uh, yesterday for Easter, but oh well. My stomach didn't like it after, let's just say that. I didn't have any pain or anything, but I got kind of sick after. Um, yeah, so I know now my limits on how much sugar I can have and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty lucky that nothing has, make, has made me sick. So 
I've been, I have not had to have, you know, throw up for anything, haven't had any stomach aches, you know, or pain or anything like that. So it's been pretty smooth. And that's pretty much how these, re these updates are going to be now because, uh, the first month was the hardest. That was the most change and transitions. Now it's just about continuing with my diet and exercise and taking care of myself. And so these, you know, updates will be kind of, you know, short and straight to the point. And, um, and that's pretty much what, you know, you guys can let me know if you want to know any particular things and I can touch, you know, explain things, um, talk about certain subjects if you want me to during the um, future videos. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty simple. Uh, I did work out last week uh, for the first time since surgery and the six days went really well. I'm doing 30 minutes a day of cardio dancing, which is a lot of fun, so had no problems with that. I worried about um, the jumping around and all that kind of stuff, but no pain, no problems. I did get cleared to do anything I want as far as exercise, so I can start running when I want to and all that kind of stuff, so I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, so my goal this week coming up is to focus on getting out of the 220s. Uh, I'm very, very close. I'm almost in the two teens. Only 1.8 pounds from losing, like I said, 60 pounds, so that's, that's my big goal this week. Uh, and then to continue with my eating and also exercise. So, and then this week I add some dance conditioning, which is strength slash stretching. Uh, and that will help too with, with my strength. So I'm very, very happy about that. So yeah, you guys enjoy your week and I hope you all had a great Easter yesterday and I will talk to you all very, very soon. And if you guys want to keep updated on my journey, every day, just check out my Facebook or my Instagram and I'll talk to you later. Bye.